Good morning everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you're new here and today we are headed to Epcot. We are going to have a very chill, a very relaxing Epcot day. I'm very excited. I haven't been to the parks solo in a very long time. I've barely been to the parks since December, since I had COVID, since I went home for Christmas, all of that. So today I thought we would just have a very chill, very relaxing day at Epcot. It is chilly out today. I'll show you the little outfit we got on. I'm just in the bathroom area because my room is a disaster. Um, but I just have on a little white sweater. Um, this is from Sirens like so many years ago. And then these jeans here I just got from Hot Topic. They're just like a cargo pants and I kind of love them. They fit perfectly. And then I just have my Magic Kingdom tote, which I brought like a book, my popcorn bucket, so many things, headbands. Um, instead of ears, I've been really into this headbands that I have. And then of course bracelets. And I do want to just grab a little statement, not a statement necklace, just a little dainty necklace before we head out and go to the bus. I did miss the Riviera bus that I usually take. So I think we're actually going to head to the transportation ticket center today and monorail over chill relaxing little monorail ride. So my little necklace here, I have the B necklace from Disney, just like the cheap, not cheap one they have, but it's just like the B with the little um, Mickey head. And then I also have this little paw print that I got on a necklace at Francesca's. And I put that on here and it came with a matching one. So I wear this little paw print and then my cat at home has a little paw print charm that's the same on his collar. Um, so we are matchy matchy from miles away. For the first time in months, I got pulled over by security. Don't know what it was. I think I might have had the camera in the bag, although I've had the camera in the bag before and I haven't got pulled over, but who knows. Um, I got pulled. I pride myself so hard in not doing it, but it's okay. There was no lineup. Um, we just breezed through, and now we're on the monorail. It's Epcot. Epcot is just such a different vibe in between festivals. Festival of the Arts starts in like two days. There's still Christmas stuff up. There's some Festival of the Arts stuff up. And otherwise, it's just kind of peaceful. It's not as busy here. I love it. Did a little mobile ordering. So this is, I believe it's the General Tao chicken salad. Okay, mom. Um, and it looks amazing. It's $12 and this is a huge bowl. And I just, of course, got a cup of water. Just get a little bite. Our big bite, I guess. That is so good. I had like 75 cents on a Starbucks gift card, so girl math. This was free, pretty much, right? So, iced peach green tea lemonade. I haven't had one of these in forever, but I was feeling the vibe today. I wanted to check out some of the new merch because there is so much stuff going on that I haven't seen yet. These cups, so cute. They're $29.99, but cups that size never fit under my Keurig. They're bringing back like the older Disney merch. Like, look at that snow globe. I have one of those that's very similar from like 2009. Picture frames coming back. I love it so, so much. I like this. I just wish it was a sweatshirt, not just a long sleeve. It's like a long sleeve t-shirt. I would have loved that in a sweatshirt. I would purchase this right now if they had it in my size, but they only have extra smalls. This is also fun. So many new fanny packs. I love to see it, and they're nice big ones too. I would love this to use as like a planter or something. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Maybe like a pencil holder? Doesn't really say. But as like a little planter, that'd be very cute. Vibes immaculate out here in the sun. It is so warm, it is so nice, so perfect. I brought my book, so I think first I'm gonna take a couple photos and then we're just gonna chill and read for a bit. I have heard obviously such amazing things. My friend Ashley is like, you need to read Octar next. So that is what we're doing. I finished my terrible rom-com last night and it was 
very, very disappointing. I thought it was gonna be such a good book, it was not. So I have high hopes that we are looking at a five-star read. Oh, we got a map right off the bat. I'm very excited. I have no idea what this is about. I just know there's like fairies. It should be a fun, good time. been over a month since I've ridden Guardians of the Galaxy. So I had to get, I got a boarding group today. I got up at seven and yeah, let's see what song we get. I would love Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I think that's my favorite now. I believe I've got them all now. Honestly, I don't really keep track. Disco Inferno, another solid song. Um, I don't think I've gotten that one in a very long time. I may have only gotten that one like once before this. So another very solid one. Now, I don't even know where I'm headed. I think we may just like wander through World Showcase a little bit. I thought about going on Chess Track, but I'm just like not feeling that vibe today. So I think we're just gonna wander a little bit and see wherever we end up. So if you know me, you know that I am deeply obsessed with the little painted figures that they have in Mexico, but I've never bought one because I'm like, they're expensive, rightfully so, they're like hand done, so, and I needed to find one that called to me. So I found one, and I'm so excited for it. It came with a little history about the wood carvings, um, and then I was a little worried, it's a cat, I was a little worried about the tail, but she's like, no, no, the tail actually comes right off, and then you can put it back together at home, which makes me so happy. Um, Cause then I don't have to worry about it falling apart. So I'm opening it very carefully here to show you all. Yes. So here's my little kitty cat. Oh. Here's my little kitty cat. So cute. Um, I love him. And then his tail, she put in a little baggie for me so that I can put them back together when I get home. And this makes me so unbelievably happy. I am not going to be able to wrap this as well as she had it, but as long as it doesn't break. Um, this makes me so unbelievably happy. I've wanted one of these for so long, and now I have one. And I have a little cat, and it's, it's perfect. I got a Lefsa from the Norwegian Bakery. I've only ever had it in Akershire's, the dining, um, but this is $3. It's cold. I kind of wish it was hot. I feel like it would taste better, but it's like a cinnamon roll, butter, sugar. So good. Of course, we're in China now. And I'm going to show you some of the cute accessories that me and Akelia found, or Akelia showed me when we were here last week. They have all these so pretty earrings. Like, look at these here. And like, look at these. So many different hair clips. I got this one here last week. It's so pretty. And like this one, also gorgeous. Headbands. They have a mood butterfly bracelet, like how? And then there's like these little tree earrings. I got these ones last week, it was like, the moon and Saturn. <laughs> and it's a little red panda. This would be so subtle for someone who loves turning red. They have a book nook. No way, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. 
I am learning so many new things. Did you know you can make your own like sun catcher in Germany? They have like pieces and different colors and different Disney characters you can put on it and it looks so cool. I didn't see the prices, um, but that looks amazing. Honestly, like so much fun. I got a orange slush over in France. Got the Skyliner there. It is delicious. Very strong, I will say, but so good. It just tastes like an orange slushy. I've never had it before. I'm gonna sit here, drink it slowly, read my book while we are drinking it, and just have a good time. We left Epcot, we left Epcot, and we are skylining to the Riviera. I think we're just gonna go hang out there because it is getting a lot colder out. Um, so we're just gonna go hang out there look around, read a bit, I really want to read in that library, get some dinner there probably, and just chill there for a bit. It is one of, if not my favorite resort hotel, just to hang out at. Morning! I am continuing my little vlog um, of just like a little relaxing weekend at Disney, and it is now the next day. Last night we went to go see a movie. What was it called? Any... Anyone But You. Anyone But You. I'm here with Akelia. And Akelia is checking into Riverside because her family comes today, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm just along for the ride to hang out. We've discovered a really fun looking lizard. He is alive, we poked him with a stick. Politely. Yeah, politely. Politely, not aggressively, just enough to see if he was alive. Yes. But he's kind of fun looking. He's like a little log troll. You have a hat for him. I just don't want to hurt him though. Maybe it's too pointy to be a hat. We could give him a leaf hat. Oh. There's like really pretty red one there. It's a kip. No kips. Oh, very nice. He's such a beautiful boy. Very decorative. It's very loud in here, but we made it to Disney Springs and we're trying Chicken Guy. I'm trying Chicken Guy for the very first time. So I've never had it. Akelia said it's really good. So I got four tenders with a Nashville hot honey sauce and a brown sugar barbecue sauce. I got three tenders and I got coleslaw and then I got um, the special sauce, the Nashville hot honey and their limited sauce is Korean barbecue. And you said they like decrease the number of sauces. So they used to be like 30 sauces on the menu. You would have like a bunch of options but now, but now they just have these. Oh, it's so sad. So sad. I had so many sauces I wanted to try but now I never will. Very sad. But now we eat. We have moved on to salt and straw. Oh my I God. got the Why red velvet cake. Why did you tell me my hair was doing this? I didn't know your hair was doing that. It's all right now. Stop. <laughs> I'm on the other side. Um, what flavor did you end up with? I got the Marion Berry Oatmeal Cobbler and it's vegan. Yes, they both are. And delicious. So good. <laughs> 